Well hello there people, so today what I'm going to be doing is setting this grapevine into this hole here up against the uh, sort of trellis so to speak so regarding this vine this came from one of my other vines at a previous address it's Lake Mont Seedless I believe if you've been following me you'll know that uh, I hold this variety in high regard I've got a lot about Lake Mont Seedless on my grape playlist if you're interested in that but um, what this had done this had layered itself I think there's two vines here and um, you know they took very well so I dug them up with a bit of soil around them and I put them into this pot here so actually they've been in this pot now for a few years, this isn't my address, this is somewhere else, but um, giving them away to someone who uh, wants to get into grape growing, so that's sort of a thing I'm very much into. So we're going to put it in over there, and I'm just having a, a look at it. So once it can sort of spread its roots a bit in the ground, it should do very well. It hasn't really grown massively in this pot, and um, hasn't been in the best location maybe. Grapes like a lot of uh, sun, south-facing walls are ideal. So uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to put it over there where there's a bit more space. So what I'm going to do first is just take off all of this sort of weeds and bulbs and stuff and uh, dispose of those. So that's a bit better, a bit cleared up. Still very much alive, you can see it's starting to bud a little bit there. So going to make sure this hole's big enough and then proceed to put it in there. So, it's in this hole nice and snug, so I'm just going to proceed to put the old uh, soil around it and pack it in. This one's kind of like growing out a little bit, but that's kind of how it layered, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Now, this is a very warm location here. Not to, well, it's not cold today, but there's no, you know, it's not particularly sunny, but uh, in the, you know, days with which it's sunny, gets a lot of heat here so I'm expecting this vine to put out some massive growth probably um, you know by the end of the year and hopefully some decent crops on it next year I mean it uh, had a good root structure on it so I'm very happy about that it looks healthy doesn't it really but it'd be interesting to know you know just how this vine does really I always like to encourage people with uh, regards to grape growing because there is a misconception that you can't grow good grapes here in the UK and uh, you know with the right varieties it's very untrue and I mean grapes have been grown in the UK since the Roman times and uh, the Romans had some uh, huge vineyards and um, of course you know British wine, UK wine is made and uh, they say if you look around somewhere near you, there may even be a commercial vineyard. Who knows? Whilst I'm here, I thought I'd show you this fine Daphne plant. Now, this smells lovely. It really does. The flower's now sort of coming to an end. <coughs> Excuse me, coming to an end. But uh, really lovely. Fine Daphne, that is. Beautiful aroma. Grown in this pot. It's doing very well, actually. And I really, really like it. And this camellia here, this is just wow. I mean, look at them flowers. I mean, aren't they beautiful? Absolutely fantastic. Totally gorgeous, lovely colour. I really love camellias. And uh, as you know, if you've been following me, you'll know that I purchased a, a tea plant recently. And that's, uh, in fact, a, a member of the camellia family. So isn't that intriguing? I mean, look at them blooms. I mean, look at them. Absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Lovely. And we've got the old daffs here. Can't beat daffs, can you? Primroses. Oh, fine stuff. So I'm just going to tidy up this little uh, grape here. Tidy up the soil here, make it all nice and level and neat. And uh, yeah, so I'll do some updates on this as the season progresses. Just be intriguing to see how this does. Because, uh, you know, I remember taking this... From this layered, it layered itself. I remember taking it, and it's interesting, you know, when you have been sort of involved quite a bit with the propagation of a plant, and then you see, you know, you see it come to something worthwhile. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like my work, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.